Hello, hello everyone. My name is Enwa, and we are back into Kenji for a little bit. So I've sort of cut out a lot of, uh, well, boring shit, and <laughs> and we are back into it. So we have expanded our base a little bit. So last time we were here, uh, we had a few fewer farms. Uh, we might have had some less copper. There might have been some stuff over here. Um, this has mostly stayed the same. And we have also expanded our number in Legion Primus, or the Raiders as it was previously called, up to 42. We did have a lot of those people in uh, over here. This is now called Logistics, because I kind of just need them to make food. Otherwise, uh, well, feeding a lot of these guys is rather difficult, <laughs> as you can probably imagine. Uh, the Smiths are also on their own little... Uh, tab here where they are dedicated to just smithing gear and armor now um, Well, we haven't really progressed in the tech tree any So we are still on weaponsmith threes We have made lots of armor though, so we are pretty much good there. We, we have our we have our desired kit mostly made yeah, so that's good. We've gotten to the point where we have a surplus of pretty much everything and almost all of our uh, underlying gear like iron plates and chainmail sheets are kind of just uh, maxed out at this point. So we are really just training Legion Primus to, to yeah, be able to actually go and fight people. We are getting a bunch of skeleton limbs made. Our skeleton limb maker is pretty good, but we ultimately want to do KLRs and not just normal skeleton limbs. And uh, well, we, we moved into mass production of all this stuff for a while. So that works out great. We still can't win fights against the Sheks when they invade. We usually just take them down with our harpoons. But uh, yeah, it is working out pretty well. We are mass producing, but we do definitely need to get away from planted farms and more towards mass hydroponics uh, just because it's so much more efficient and we can make Gohan with mass hydroponics instead of focusing on making vegetables. So yeah, it definitely is a thing. <clears throat> As for where the hydroponics is going to go, uh, well, Fen is way over here now because uh, my base is to the point that when I log in, if I go to like the second floor, it just crashes. So, yeah, I kind of need Fen to uh, run back now. <laughs> that he uh, that he got over there. There's also the problem of having a bunch of towers. Um, if there was like an enemy over there, these guys would just shoot across each other to kill them. Um, that tends to happen. So, w what does a uh, Fogman playthrough look like when Fogmen, on average, have like 50 in every stat? Uh, well, you give them the best armor you can, right? They got like masterwork stuff. Um, best thing that I can get them, for the most part. We could get them a better version of that. Well, what does that actually tend to look like in terms of prosthetics? Well, here's the problem. So their kit, this doesn't have arm protection. This doesn't have arm protection. This doesn't have arm protection. And that doesn't have arm protection. <laughs> and they have like 50 in arms. So realistically speaking, there's going to be a lot of people prosthetics. We actually have a few people who need to pick up, uh, who need to put on prosthetics now. And so eventually we're going to have a whole lot of people, like every one of my Fogmen are just going to have prosthetic arms. Uh, this is more or less unavoidable, <laughs> especially with uh, dismemberment set to frequent. So we are just mass producing arms at this point, simply because we need them. So that means we will have to eventually make like a hundred KLR, KLR arms. So... That is a thing. Okay, so I think those are the guys I sent to go grab prosthetics. So let's do this real quick. What do you need? 
You need uh, one of these, I think. Okay, good enough. Get out of here. You. You need one of those. Cool. Who's next? What do you need? Cool. Sounds good. Get out of What do you need? You need one of these, I think. Cool. Leave. And you. You also need one of those. I think that's everyone, aside from maybe a slow person or two coming in. Okay, he needs one of the smaller ones, which we don't have anymore. Um, unfortunate. What about you? He also needs a smaller one. Cool. So we need two rights to be made. Should be okay. Alright, everyone. Go and do your thing. So they need both arms to use the large cleavers. To use the long cleavers. It's kind of a hard requirement. Uh, yeah, pretty much everybody is following Fen around. So where are our stats at? Well, Fen is at 50, 59. And we have a lot of... We're sort of... A lot of our major dudes are sort of in the 50 range. Uh, some of our... Some of our dudes are still you know in high 30s, low 40s. But everyone's kind of in that area, which is nice. Do we have any raids coming in? Turn for tributes. We're not going to bother with that. Okay, so how is all the food then? Okay, so we have some stuff. So only Praetorians can eat the foul red meat. The foul raw meat, which is unfortunate. Um, that kind of means I need this guy to be able to carry all of that so he'll just eat it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him run over here. I'm also probably going to give him a uh, <clears throat> a traveler's backpack instead of a th small thieves backpack because his hunger rate is like 300%, <laughs> which means that he is going to eat a ton of food very quickly. And uh, there isn't really a whole lot I can do about that. And we will very quickly fill up his inventory uh, with other things if we don't do that. All right, so you come over. I think after that, we have lots of raw meat, which is fine. Our high, our fogman can eat that. We have this. Okay, let's go, everyone. And then after this, we will definitely <clears throat> transition to uh, trying to take out Mongol again. We'll give it another shot just to see what happens. Okay, so Fen doesn't have anything that I need to put in there, so we're fine on that. Mr. Heavy, I'm going to have you dump all this in there. And we have such a surplus of stuff simply because um, our... We have a surplus because um, we've kind of finished building almost everything out. So we don't actually need most of this stuff anymore. We don't need a whole lot of steel anymore. Yeah, let's hold right click while we do this. And as a result of that, we kind of just have an extreme surplus of kind of just everything. Okay. Can I move this over there? No, it's just going to his backpack. That's fine. Praetorion, where are you? Alright, I need you to come over here. So I can have you grab a travel backpack instead of a thieves backpack. And then we will ensure it will make him worse at fighting, but it will also make him prioritize uh, eating uh, the foul meat that we need to get rid of. So that'll be the good part. Oh, oh, okay, can you can you not go over there for some reason? I'm slightly confused. All right, and as you can tell, he is a giant, so. All right, but we, what we want to do here is we want to go and attack Mongrel just to see what happens. And see 
if we can kill off those damn mongrelites. Also, I think as long as he's in your team, it doesn't kill him to take this out of his inventory, so. Praetorium is dead. <laughs> damn it. Okay, so. That's all done. Everyone's hanging out on turrets, despite the fact that no one's coming in to kill us. And he's got his food taken care of. Having logistics there to farm and make food has gotten our food situation taken care of for the most part. So at this point, I need my food haulers to come on over real quick. There's also a little point of I need to clean out their inventories a little bit. So let's have everyone come over here. Or not? Did they shoot? Did someone actually get shot? I'm not sure. What's up with this person? They're just heavy for some reason. Cool. Sounds good. And no one died, right? Yeah, no one died. Should be at 42. All right, so whatever the problem was, it doesn't look like our dudes are finding it anymore. So let's all head over here. Can we? My God. Okay, maybe it. Can you guys just go to the fucking roof? That would be nice. I swear. <laughs> the system can be really, really clunky at times. Okay. So, who has books? I know, I have so many things. So many sites to show. Okay, you. I want you to put these books in here so that we can... Uh, see what, <laughs> like how people are just sort of popping up there. Okay, well, he's still looting, quote unquote. I can probably teleport stuff in. Looks good. Anybody else have any books? No. Okay, so where does it leave us in terms of technology? Can't do tech level six. Could do hemp based fabric. We are going to have a decent amount of hemp. That's going to give us the ability to use fuel, which means we'll have to have uh, another person in logistics just making fuel. Fuel generator will be nice. But we will definitely need to find a specific thing with that. Advanced cooking, we will need that after we have Gohan. Rain Collector, there's no rain. Weapon Grade 5, Animal Backpacks. Great Crossbow Bolts. Heavy Weapons, we don't need that. We could use Splints, though. So we will use Splints. We'll give ourselves Advanced Weapon Grades. I mean, we kind of have all the cleavers that we're going to be using. So we got that all that taken care of. We should research some medication. I think that's about everything. This is great. Okay, so what's this guy up to? Stuff. Stuff is what he's up to. Okay, let's close this. Let's get everyone out of the turret section. This is the only problem with these assholes. Get out of the turret section. Okay, so let's close this so they can't go back in there. And now they'll go do other things. Cool. Then what you doing research, right? Sounds good. He's doing research with the power of his mind. <laughs> Alright, he's just standing there. I assume he's just thinking really, really hard. <laughs> okay, so splints, weapon grades. 
Uh, this probably means we can make slightly better weapons, but no, it doesn't. It means <laughs> we're actually past these. We're making Katun Mark uh, 3s, Roman numerals. Either way, it should be okay. And we can do this probably with downtime. We can also take these guys and have them all contribute as well to mine research. It is what all these small research benches are for, after all. Since they're not doing anything else. Okay. And our miners are still doing their whole mining work. Everything is still working out just fine. Eventually, what we will most likely do is have a bunch of Fogmen who are just here full-time, always doing this, supporting everything, and then have Legion Primus go do its thing, because this is our home base, so we will want a lot of people uh, just kind of working all the time and making tons and tons of crap so that uh, the Legions can go out there and not suffer any consequences of doing so. Okay, but how's this going? nice part about that as well is that we can essentially just set people to research as their primary task and everything else is secondary. So when we do research something, you know, like 50 people are researching it and it just gets done. It just works. <laughs> it's like the apple of, uh, the apple of Kenshi. <laughs> Okay. So that's weapon grades. The other one is splints. I know I do have a person dedicated to to this as well. What do we actually need? Didn't we research splints? Yes, we did. Do we need a advance medical workbench to make splints? Or do we make them somewhere else? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see, what do we need with this? So we are to make some beds so that our people aren't completely destroyed after each fight. Um, we are going to need some beds. We have 50 people, so it's not really <laughs> realistic to have 50 beds. Um... <clears throat> But we might as well have, you know, the medic one medicaid be filled with beds, I guess. Okay, medicine is complete, so what else do we have here now? Okay, this this one cannot do uh, anything other than basic, I'm assuming. So we would have to upgrade it to like a Mark II or something. Medical workbench. Yeah, that's the difference. We can now upgrade this. Cool. We should upgrade it. And that will allow us to... <laughs> 50 people just working on it. Okay, so now we can do all kinds of cool stuff. Cool. That's what we need. <laughs> so, we will need sleeping bags. We, need, we'll, we will need splint kits. We will need standard first aid kits. And if you're wondering, this is an advanced first aid kit. This is a standard first aid kit. And let's see. This one, if we look at charge efficiency, this one has 400 times 40. So if we just uh, find out what that is. Four hundred times forty. So if we do that in our head, there's an easy way to do this. I'm before Common Core, but so four hundred is four times one hundred. Forty is four times ten. Ten times a hundred is one thousand, and four times four is sixteen. So we have sixteen thousand healing, if you will, with this one, grand total. Now with this one, it's 1,000 and 100, so this one is 1,000, 
which is 1 times 1,000. And we have 100, which is 1 times 100. So 1 times 1 is 1. And so what we have here instead is this is worth 10, 100,000 healing. So 16,000 healing, 100,000 healing. <laughs> Quite the jump. <laughs> and if you were wondering, just just for science, I suppose, uh, what about the basic first aid kits? Why should you never try to, like, why should you not bother using these? Well, this one is a 150 and 5. So, 15 times 10 times 5. Eh. Let's go with um, 15 is 3 times 5. So we have 3 times 5 times 5 times 10. Okay, so 25 times 3, 75 times 10, 750. So this has a grand total of 750 healing. This has 16,000. This has 100,000. <laughs> uh, well, two of these are markedly better than the others. Uh, I, I forget what it was, but you, you had to have a ton of these little basic first aids to even get to the bait even get to you had to have yeah a ton of these little basic ones to even get to the healing power of the uh, normal first aid and then the advanced one is don't even bother you're going to fill up an entire travel backpack and probably not even get there so if you were wondering ever what the difference between those were <laughs> so many they're all friggin useless okay so <laughs> How much food have our dudes made? Okay, well, as it turns out, having logistics dedicated actually means you get a lot of food. Um, Alright. You guys. Let's start working towards going to invade Mongrel again. Giving that another shot. We didn't cover it last time because it was really just a test to see what happened. And, uh, well, what happened was we all died. <laughs> we got wrecked. That's what happened. Mongrel told us that we came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> and uh, that was that. Okay. Cool, so we got that one. We also have a bunch of fish. We'll just leave the fish back here and let's make our way outside. Now we are just going to drop a bunch of crap on the ground. That is going to help us quite a bit. You guys didn't ditch all your food, right? Good. Fantastic. Let's turn off jobs. That will make them all just follow Fen. Except for this guy. You know, Billy here needs to go get food, despite we having food. Go on, John. Good boy. Anybody else gonna run off? To Yeah, some other people gonna run off. Are you guys done? Cool, sounds good. Alright. Let's, uh, let's march up to Mongrel. <laughs> go on, Fen. Off you go. No one who's left is... What are you doing? Foggy here really, 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 really wants some fish. You know, he had a hankering. So, Fen's on the way. He is... Foggy, what are you doing? <laughs> Out here, Fog. Go. Okay, so, he's off that direction doing that. Finn and friends are uh, making their way forward for these guys. <laughs> Just Feldman. And now our quest to destroy Mongrel will uh, probably not work out. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is. We can but try. Ooh, get them. Are people on hold or something? No. Okay. 
Well, either way, sounds good. Get them. Kill them. Hurt them. <laughs> now, very important, we want our dudes with these travel backpacks to not be, to not have taunt on. And we'll turn taunt off of him as well. And just let everyone do their thing. Our dudes are much better at fighting. Oh, this is a shinobi ninja. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> and uh, well, that that that's kind of the power of uh, of us. <laughs> Someone starts uh, attacking us, and they don't hit our arms, so we just take almost no damage. All right, where's Mr. Shinobi guard? Taken to a pole, I hope. Fantastic. Pole dancing is the most noble of, of jobs that shinobi guards can ever have. All right. <clears throat> Let's go over here. And if we can, we want to use our firing squad here to uh, deal <laughs> with uh, these guys as they are coming out. Now, we do have more dudes than turrets, so we are going to uh, just... Fill these up and have everybody else on hold. Then we'll have someone pull them, probably uh, someone who's covered in armor. Fen might do it, but that would be a pretty bad idea, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Please don't shoot us. They're all pointing their turrets backwards. All right. Okay, this guy. Come on over here. I want you to pull these guards into the firing line. Where are the guards? Are the guard... The guards respawn, I think. So it's kind of weird that they're off. Are they over here jacking people up? No. They're just not there. Cool. Cool. Fantastic. Let's go and pull other people then. <laughs> and let's quick save just so uh, if we all die terribly, uh, we can at least try to do something else. Shinobi guard. What do we have over here? Shinobi guard. Sounds good. Oh no. I'm hearing... I'm hearing um, harpoons being fired. That could be bad for me. <laughs> we'll find out what, what's going on, though. Eh? He is coming for us. All right, here's the plan. You're going to run over here, and then you're going to immediately turn right. Well, to your left. Leg it. Okay, cool. Keep legging it. <laughs> As these guys run into the firing line. Awesome. Keep coming in, guys. <laughs> Excellent work. You're doing it. <laughs> You're showing us who's boss. <laughs> You see, this is when you just see a, uh, you just see the gate guard, and he's just like... <laughs> oh, yes. Very good. He's going to bleed out in absolutely no time. Excellent work, everyone. Including you, person, who, uh, I don't remember what your name is. Uh, John. Billy? Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay, you're in slightly better health, so we're going to have you run in front of our machine guns. <laughs> this is the equivalent of someone running up to the enemy force, pulling them in their pants, farting in their direction, and flipping them off, and then running back to their line, and it's just a bunch of people with machine guns. I want to try and thin their forces before uh, actually engaging them, because these guys are actually pretty friggin' dangerous. Despite having really crappy weapons, they're really kind of dangerous. Okay, that's a ninja guard. They're not as deadly. 
Okay, there was a shinobi guard running after him again. Cool. Run this run this way while they come for us. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be completely fine. That nothing bad could possibly ever happen. Oh no. <laughs> Stop targeting him, please. You guys are gonna shoot each other. Okay, well, you know, they, they, they successfully shot him without shooting each other. So, good enough. So, here's the thing. These guys are behind a hill. Ooh, that guy is not. Is he going to get wrecked all of a sudden? <laughs> it's all these arrows where he is. Hey. Okay, guys, this is very important. <laughs> so this is the power of good armor. That shot did 43 damage, and it was turned into 2 damage. Okay, guys, very important. Fire. And I think they're shooting at him. They're just kind of not very good at it. <laughs> okay, well now he's out in the open. So, um... <laughs> he's doing a great job. Okay, cool. As you can see, they are doing wonderful jobs. Um, absolutely amazing. Uh, I would totally hire these shinobi guards to defend anything of mine uh, when it is insured, and I'm hoping that it gets stolen. <laughs> okay, go on, Fogman. Pull the next one. Who is dumb enough to actually come outside the gates. <gasps> No, he's coming after us. Run, fog ba Oh. Come on after me. Really? Okay, cool. Now keep running. I'll never even know what hit him. <laughs> He's like the last of the samurai or something. Okay, um, run over there and hopefully not get shot. <laughs> Once they get shot the first time, they're kind of just... They kind of just start getting shot by everybody. It's like playing Counter-Strike or something. You get shot, your speed drops to almost zero, and then uh, everybody just kills you. All right. You were doing that good dodging a while ago. But then... Then it just didn't work out. Yes, come on, Shinobi Thieves. <laughs> I need to pull you to my kill box. Come and get me. <laughs> okay, go, Fogman. Try not to get shot. Ooh, they bunched up. I like it. He's 
He's gonna get shot a million times. The only problem is that when they get too close, we need to actually come off of turrets and just fight them instead. Okay, well, none of them ever got too close. <laughs> He's, he's got that <laughs> he's got that main character energy right he's charging the enemy line he's screaming that he's invincible oh he decided to stop for some reason wasn't a good decision we're still shooting at someone oh there he is and down he goes cool um what are you doing? Who are you still fighting? No one. Fantastic. Now, despite being extremely uh, well defended, we do have some problems. Hello, you turds. Come and fight me. Or just run to the harpoon turrets. <laughs> Whichever works better for you. Okay, what's this guy's story? 20s? 30s. Eh, we could probably just kill him. Eh. Oh no, he just worth 3 damage. <laughs> In come the fog men. Oh yeah, that's 60 damage. I love it. Oh, I just took him down. What's he got? He has a large thieves backpack. A really crappy sword. We're going to steal that and throw it on the ground. He has no armor whatsoever. I mean, that's sort of this. And, um, yeah, nothing that we really want. We will steal this, though, and shove that larger backpack into our smaller one. Let's heal ourselves up. Three, indeed. And, uh, then let's go... Yeah, there are some people on harpoons, so we don't actually want to uh, pick a fight with that. But we do want to try and pull them. Any that we can. Come on, guys. Come on over here, see what happens. Once the gate guards are dead, we can, we'll can we probably raid the city and see what happens. All right, so the shots are already coming in. That's good. Time to just run back the other way. And watch our lines, hoping that they don't get to us. They have gotten to us, so it is time to turn off range, turn off, turn off hold. Come off with the turrets. And kill them all. Because this is what happens when we accidentally shoot ourselves. 99 damage. Instantly arm is pretty much wrecked. Kill him. And there goes that arm. You're always ever one crossbow shot away from uh, being incapable. All right, come on, guys. Kill him. Cool. All right, let's heal ourselves up. Oh, no. Logistics is under, is under attack. Who's he pointing at? Someone over there? I don't think there's somebody in the base. Oh, there is someone in, in the base. Cool, it's just a cannibal. A.F. Fogman. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fogman curb stomped him for us, that's good. <clears throat> okay, we have killed a lot of the shinobi guards. Killed some townspeople. Fantastic, I love it. We do need to get some new arms though. Looks like we are primarily missing right arms. Okay, so there are three of these dudes left. Four if you count him. He's the biggest problem because these are harpoon turrets. Uh, they do shoot for like almost 100 damage or a little bit over it. They're Mark II, so they shoot for around 100 damage. Uh, the Shinobi Thieves aren't that big of a problem. Yet a lot of these guys can be pretty tough. Now, look, one of the big questions is, where's Beep? Did he already get dragged off into the Great Beyond? I hope not. We want to recruit Warmaster Beep. Huh? There's he, there he is. But we will have to kidnap him. We might not be able to get War Master Beep whatsoever. Who knows? Okay, so we're missing some arms. One, two, three. Three. We need three right arms. Now the question is do we have three right arms? No. No, we do not. We have a high quality for some reason. It's gonna throw that on the ground. Okay. Gentlemen. <clears throat> let's quick save. And let's move on in. And see what happens. Now we want to take the gate. So. You three, go kill him. I suppose everybody else. Attack all. You three take them out. Yeah, I want at least three of them jumping each one of these guys. That will probably help us out a little bit. He did get a harpoon shot off, but it doesn't seem as though it actually did much. This guy hits for like 30 damage. Kill them. Kill the gate guardians. Every, take he, every hit he takes is kind of brutal for him. So... Yeah, and then his armor is less effective as well because we were using cleavers. Still though, he is doing they are doing decent damage. We will probably still have some fogmen go down, but hopefully not by a huge amount. This guy can't fight because his arms are all down. Oh, good. I got him. You pick him up so he can't get up. <laughs> cool. Um, you. Oh, that's one of ours. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> we hit him for five damage. I guess we must have hit him somewhere where we had Masterwork something. Okay, these guys are coming back over, so that means he's probably down. You kidnap him. Excellent. I think another guard showed up. Another guard or so. 
But with these gate guards taken down, what's going to happen is it's going to make it easier for Fogman raids to actually get into Mongrel. Thing is, we need to take these guys out before their reinforcements start showing up. I think that's that. Cool. Get that in. Another, sh another shinobi guard? Cool. Kidnap him too. Three indeed. And now let's move. Bogman. And where are you? You're over here. You're up in just a few seconds. Cool. Get up. Let's go. Okay, so the, the gate guards are all dead. So that means that the occasional Fogman raid will be able to pick off some people here and there. It is nighttime, so we should be able to <clears throat> get in and start clearing people out. The people in bars are generally, aside from the guards, most of the recruitable people in the bars are kind of just hot garbage. You're supposed to recruit them all at, like, stats of one. So, is that... We'll probably kill the shopkeepers. We'll kill a lot of just the wandering, into wandering people around here, and everything should be pretty easy. Okay, but this is the HQ. The leader of Mongrel will be pretty tough. What do his dudes look like? Oh my goodness, that's so terrible. Why is it so bad? Uh, working in darkness? Okay, sounds good. I like it. What about you? You know, pretty decent. Really decent. After we take out Mongrel, our dudes will actually probably be pretty good at fighting. But we can probably take out more. Depending on how much we want to push. Because there are a lot of people in the Thieves Guild. Get up. <laughs> nice. Kidnap him. You're mine. Then, good and jog in here. Hello, gents. I hear you're all really good at fighting. And I need that practice. Kill them. Okay, what do we got? There's not really anybody there to fight us. Not really anybody, any, anybody there to fight us. And... Um, I don't think there's anybody even up here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is, I think there's like one person in here. I think most of the thieves have actually been dragged out. Or we pulled them and then they got shot to death. The main problem will be if a huge army of them uh, comes in to back up the thieves guild. If they don't, then we're just going to kill them all. Yep. Okay, sounds good. You. Grab this shinobi guard. Fen. You grab that guy. I wish it would show me uh, if somebody is currently holding somebody in the GUI. Okay, so we've taken out all of those. That works for me. He's unconscious 50, unconscious 18. This guy's gotten up, that's good. Go ahead and pick him up. Awesome. So with the decline of the gate guards, Fogman can start coming on in. 
which is great for us. However, there's another Fogman here. I mean, another Shinobi guard that we didn't grab. Cool. Fantastic. Let's go, everyone. Whee! Let's go, Fogman. Are we currently fighting somebody? Is someone coming to try and rescue this guy? Is that what's going on? All right, let's head let's head back to our base. First of all, let's have Fen and friends move over here cuz that is the path we need to take. Looks like we took some. <clears throat> we took some of theirs. I like it. Alright, gents. Go ahead and gather around. <laughs> I think Ben's trying to heal somebody and they're all trying to follow him, pushing him around. Cool. Alright, let's set everyone to walk together, and let's head back to our base. Now, obviously, they will kind of... they'll all most likely split up a little bit, but uh, for the most part, it isn't that big of a deal. It looks like they're actually sticking together for once. That's strange. Usually doesn't happen. Okay, so we know that we can win fights against Mongo. So the real question is going to be how many fights do we need to win until we can take them down for good? Smiths? Legionnaires? Also, let's stop over here. Blood. What the blood god? There's a cannibal, I think. Nope. If there was, he would have died. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> we would have turned around and just curb stomped him immediately. Alright. Let's head over there then. Because we want to take these shinobi guards and... Meat. Kill him. <laughs> He gets punched twice and falls over. Fantastic. Oh, very good. This means spikes. Well, not spikes, but poles. All right. Who are you fighting? Ah, oh, another cannibal. Sounds good. Kill him. Kill them all. Now let's go back over here. Because believe it or not, I do actually want to put these people on spikes. Thing is, I don't want them to put any of my people on spikes. So, you have someone. Yes, we have one of the guards. Put him on. Might be easier just to click instead. Let's turn off jobs so they all don't run off. Excellent. Okay. This guy. Let's put him on a pole as well. Excellent. Um, are we? 
not putting them on poles for some reason. Oh, we're not actually selecting the fog man that's holding them. That's what's going on. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Let's just try to select them all, shall we? Because I know we have quite a few of them, but I think we already put them on pikes. All right, sounds good. Um, why did we put ourselves in here? <laughs> okay, fine. Let's pick our lock and get out. That was strange. Okay, I see. So, Vogman, put in. Let's see, you. Put him on a pole. Okay, do we have any more? I think, yeah, we have one more. Anybody else? Yeah, we have a few, actually. That's good. We have lots of poles. So yeah, this is going to allow us to get rid of these guards. I do believe the gate guards do respawn. So it won't get rid of them permanently, but it will... I believe there is a respawn period where they they won't immediately show back up. Which is the primary reason, by the way, why the fogman why the fogmen normally destroy Mongrel, if you were ever curious. Okay, well, Fen is going to attack somebody. That's fine. That's one of ours. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Fen, let's head back to our base. So what I'll, some, what I'll usually do is I'll put Fen on Jog instead of Sprint. What? Oh, right. Gate's closed. Probably help. So Fen on that. They can usually all keep up. No problem. So let's have them all come over here with Fen and then we will turn on Jobs. Once they are on beyond, once they are all beyond the gate. Fantastic. Close the gates. Turn on jobs. All go do their things, and everything will be fantastic. <clears throat> okay, so we need some right arms. I'm going to discontinue left arms for a little bit. Well, <laughs> this guy's animation is broken. <laughs> He's just very thoroughly examining it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This guy, too, is just very thoroughly examining that. <laughs> okay, logistics. How's our food situation? Not too bad, actually. God, I want everyone to try and get rested up. So... Oh, the Fogmen are actually just using our turrets. That's nice. 
Alright, those of you who are slightly damaged, slightly injured, go and rest. So that we can get back to uh, raiding Mongrel. Oh man, that guy's arms both got pretty jacked. That guy needs a right arm. Now eventually I'll have more beds as well. It's just right now it is what it is. <laughs> I just keep getting pushed off the beds. <laughs> He's fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, if you tell them to go lay down, they will stay laid down forever, pretty much. Until they get hungry, and then they'll stand up. Okay, what's your story? You're fine. Go do stuff. Cool. I like it. You're good. You're getting there. You're good. You're not good. You look good later on again. You're fine. Okay, once these two guys are good to go, we will hopefully try to get our hands on some right arms, the people whose arms are broken, and then we will go from there. He's fine, and you're fine. Excellent. Sounds good. Everyone is healed once more. Still don't have any right arms, just left arms, which is fine. Left arms are the most common arms to get damaged and cut off. In my experience. Did the smiths reactivate their forges? Yes. I'm going to turn these back off. So these guys will uh, go and do other things while we are gone. And we're going to wait until we have those two arms done. So let's see. How many arms do we need? One. Two. We need three right arms. Now yeah, we have some right arms. Not good ones, but we have some right arms. And we don't have all perfect right arms, so let's have you. Oh, yeah, that's an arm. Go pick it up. We'll put it on. Fantastic. That way we only have to wait for two arms before moving out. Cool. We just need a third right arm and we are good to go. You! Your arm's all jacked up. Go lay down.
Cool. Now again, as soon as we uh, expand and get KLR tech, we are going to uh, very slowly <laughs> replace everybody's arms with KLR arms. Their legs are actually fairly well protected, so we will probably go with normal skeleton legs, or, or if they don't lose any legs, they haven't lost any so far, I will most likely go with uh, some other... most likely check something else out. But uh, if we go over to crafting and we look at legs, we look at the economy legs, theirs are really bad, but at least you can move, right? Got the skeleton legs, they're less bad. The athletics is the real malice here. Um, it's much slower, here it's slower. I think with masterwork these get up to just normal speed. And I know there are legs that increase your run speed. There are legs that um, are sneaky. We're not really worried about stealth. And then there are also KLR legs, which are incredibly friggin' <laughs> resilient, uh, to, to, under, to understate it. But yeah, uh, it all kind of does what it needs to do. And yeah, we have... We have this entire process sort of mass-produced at this point. Um, that could be a major limiting factor. We don't actually need more motors right now, so we're going to turn all these off. So our electrical components go to... go to making the legs themselves. What's that up to? He's over here. He's standing there and with the power of his mind is making electrical components. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Uh, that's an electrical component. Fantastic. Did we get everybody the legs, the arms that we needed? I think there's just this person. Yay, alright, fantastic. Gentlemen, you know drill, yes? Okay, just toss all these on the ground. Get rid of that. Um. Yeah, I guess try to put them in there. And there's some other place we can put them. Doesn't look like we'll have enough room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of motors and presses. We might need to build another one of these just so we can make these faster. We can reassign. I mean, that is also something that we can do. Yeah, why don't we just do that? Okay, so let's take... Because we all have the prosthetics that we need right now. Um, so let's take this and change these over to... Robotics component, I think, is what we need. Yeah. It'll be a robotics component. So all these that are just making motors, uh, they're now going to swap over to robotics components. Hmm. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, so now they'll make a bunch of robotics components which will which will let us plow through all those presses and motors that we have. And yeah, we should probably turn them all on, huh? 
This is one of those things where it makes me wish that there was a faster way to turn everything on and off. Now, the good part about robotics components is that they don't require any specialized things. So he's making a press, you're making press. He's making skeletal... He's using skeletal muscles. You're making skeletal muscles. We have a lot of skeletal muscles. No. Okay, let's swap all these over to skeletal muscles then. Oh, wait, wrong one. Okay, these guys. How many skeletal muscles are needed? One. Okay. So, we're going to have these guys go and make skeletal muscles and then robotics components. Press skeletal muscle. And then this all should be fine. Okay, now they should all be able to get to work pretty quickly. I need lots of steel bars, which we actually have a surplus of. We have a surplus of everything at this point. The whole struggle part of this entire base design is over. So they're all going to make these skeletal muscles and then robotics components and everything should be great. Fantastic. And then, uh, yeah, he'll just be able to work on those all the time. Sounds good, because that's what he really needs. Right. Well, I suppose we should get back to killing Mongrel off then, huh? Cool, lots of food and fish. Oh yeah, we, we, we've got loads and loads of food. Um, hmm. You logistics guys. I have a specific job for you all. Who doesn't have much? You. Come over here. Okay, inventory of this. Okay, take... Yeah, as much as you can. And then take them up here so they don't have to keep running down. You inventory that one, you inventory this. And so forth. Cool, put those in there. Well, that kind of uh, makes that a bit difficult for him. <laughs> Alright, who's got water? You. Go and put all the water in here. What I should do is build some wells up here so it's easier for them to get up there. You should probably do that right now, huh? Um, let's see... Farming well. It's not very good water, but you know, still. Not very great water concentration. What are. Okay, these are all full of cotton. Cool. <laughs> we probably have too many cotton farms, but whatever. Alright, let's go to. Yeah, it's farming well. We're gonna put one here. These are all automatic, so it doesn't really matter if they're inefficient. 
We have nigh on infinite power, so who cares? No one needs to work on them manually. Ah, let's go with our logistics. So our farmers, we can actually find our farmers just by looking over here. So those are our, our cooks, your other cook. I'm going to put these two guys together so it's a bit easier to, to see them at a glance. Okay, so these are our two cooks. And these are all our farmers. Cool. You guys are taking such water tanks. Yes. But it's so far at the bottom that they don't do it. What about my smiths? So I don't need you guys to do those anymore because we have dedicated cooks now again but I will say that I want you guys to take water to this and to that one so now our smiths when they don't have anything else to do will do that they don't really have the right stuff for it though Okay, so this one is full, so I'm going to... He's going to keep trying to push it down there, so... I'm going to move this below there. So he'll go and do other things. What is he doing exactly? Okay, sounds good. Let's organize this so we can do that more effectively. And you are in the exact same problem move this down there. So now he will drop off the steel and he'll go and try to do stuff. He's aimless. Yeah, we're gonna have him do that too. We just need to swap those. This guy will be a little bit more complex, but, you know, whatever. We're gonna drop all of this stuff out of his inventory and if he needs it he'll pick it back up all right that's an interesting choice of stuff that you've got there so if you drop up all this cloth all this cloth all this cloth all this okay sounds good <laughs> We have, we, we have way too many resources. Um, alright. Alright, we're going to have you get rid of all of that. We're going to move this beneath the water tanks. And you as well. Move that down there. So they will most likely now fill those up. Is this full? No, it is not. He is still doing his thing. That's good. But now those guys are going to fill up this one and then the other one. Which will allow us to basically just make food at a much higher rate. Alright. Everyone, stop what you're doing. Then come over here. We are once again organizing. We are attacking enemies. Are there enemies inside of our base? There. There's a single escape servant who somehow got into our base. I'm not sure how, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Can we not access this one or something? I'm guessing we can't, so we are going to dismantle it. Okay. Logistics, guys. First off, toss those. Second off, loot. Let's take all the food we can. Okay, well we have a lot of motors. 
We don't need those right now. I wish there was an, a faster way to just drop stuff. That'd be nice. He doesn't have any healing. Oh well, it is what it is. You're still fine. We can get to his food stuffs yet. Ooh, he's got a robotics component. And yeah, we did. Looks like we did burn through our healing on at least some of them, but we can mass produce healing afterwards. And right, you get that one instead. We won't burn through all this food, by the way. We will be coming back before this food is all out. Okay, cool. But our logistics guys, they have now maxed out the amount of food that they're that they're holding. So we're going to open these gates. And we're going to hope that they didn't just immediately ditch it all. And uh, let's head out. They will do that, by the way. It is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Let's have them all move out over here. Um, why did they do that? Over here, guys. What are you guys doing? Out here, dudes. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Cool. Let's close the gates. Let's get back to destroying Mongrel. Okay, then. Go. Everyone else shall follow. The best of their ability. Cool. See somebody over there is having the time of their life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having a wonderful time out here. See, lads. I'm gonna go kill your friends. <laughs> All right, fantastic. <laughs> like how it's just a big mass. Once Mongrel is dead, we will turn our attention down to the Western Hive. Okay, here's the question. Is there really any low-hanging fruit? Okay. He's, he's there. There are some new gate guards. That's fine. As I said, the gate guards do respawn, so we can't really do much about that. Do there appear to be any shinobi guards? No. <laughs> Looks like the shinobi guards are all dead. This guy looks like he's hurt. Which is great for us. And it doesn't really look like he is even necessarily a kill him. Awesome. Let's take out the other let's take out the other guards. Get ourselves healed up. Yeah, they have a lot of guards over here. That could be a problem for us, but hopefully it won't be. There are no turrets over here. Here's the thing. We could... raid this direction, but there are a lot of people over here. And most of them are at least decent at fighting. Yeah, at least most of them are decent at fighting. So, again, we want to go and take out some of these gods. 
Okay, you two go after that one. Yeah, first off, everyone attack these guys. Attack these guys. Alright. You two attack him. You two attack him. You two, him, him, and so forth. There's a guy up here on this one. Fantastic, Finn. Full speed. Kill them all, everyone. Cool. Let's go ahead and kidnap this person so we can get rid of them. <laughs> Got this Shek guy who's just um who's just a giant comparatively. But yeah, like this is the real downside of cut damage for these guys, by the way. So these guys, he hits for 28 damage and it's... Oh, okay, never mind. We hit him for 28 damage. This is the downside. <laughs> he hit us for 27 damage and it only dealt 4 damage. That's because he's using a katana. Because he's using a katana, he does absolutely no damage to heavily armored people. So it doesn't matter that he's able to hit us a bunch of times. He hits us for 3 damage every time he hits us and we hit him for 20 or 40 or 60 or 100. And so therein lies the problem for him. Okay, but people stop kidnapping these guys as they go down. So they can't get back up and join the fight. We want to start wiping out shopkeeps as well. If we can, we want to kidnap Beep. So that Beep can join us. Okay, he went down. Oh yeah. He must have gotten shot by... <laughs> Just slowly. Down the stairs. Fantastic. Kill him before he can get on a harpoon. Excellent work. As long as people don't die, we're good. Though it looks like these two guys are, st are struggling with him. Uh, hopefully we're not running out there and aggroing the rest of them. It doesn't look like we are. There's a huge melee out here, though. No, no. No, 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 no. Go kidnap him, though. Go and grab him. You grab this guy. Okay, they're going after him. Sounds good. <laughs> Shoots us for a bunch of damage, but it does nothing. <laughs> Alright, what's going on over here? Someone is down. Cool, let's kidnap them. Remember, townspeople do not actually respawn. So the guards will respawn, the town people will the townspeople will not. So as we take down more townspeople, any raid that makes it through the guards will be able to um, do quite a bit more. Kidnap. Will they do quite a bit more damage? Okay, you grab them. And we're getting real close to that HQ. Guards are mostly dead. We're mostly down. I just don't want to pull like everything. Because if we pull the town, we're screwed. 
It looks like that's sort of what's starting to happen because we're getting too far out there. So we need to pull back. Yeah, there's a bunch of unconscious fogmen over here. That is bad. They could throw them into furnaces and just kill them. Cool. Take him down, kidnap him. Remember, we want to kidnap as many as we can. He can't do anything. Okay, the more we kidnap, the less we have to fight later. Except for the guards, they respawn. <laughs> well, at least he tried, right? Cool. I think we are hitting that critical mass of, of, of stats required to win. also starting to get gassed. So, it's been a good fight, but we kind of need to start... But I saw someone go flying. But we kind of need to start considering getting out of here. That's fine. He can't do anything. He's about to lose his other arm. He can't really do anything either. <laughs> his arms are just... His weapon arm is so jacked up, he can't do anything. <laughs> okay, but we are taking down Mongrel. Slowly, but surely. Alright, you. Pick him up. Fantastic. It's time for us to start getting out of here. It's been a grand old melee. We won the fight for the Northern Front. Get him. Don't let him leave. The guards are getting back up and that's what's happening here. We're having to fight them. Having to fight them again, which I don't prefer. Kidnap all fuck, man. Oh, that's what it was. We do need to start getting all. We do need to start getting out of here to do some first aid, though. Otherwise, we're gonna start having people die. He managed to actually knock out a fogman by chopping his ankles. Good work. Now he's out. Good nap him. Good nap. Yeah, he can still fight. Can still pick up people. You kidnap him. Cool. Loot. Is he dead? No. Your arm's just jacked up, so he can't do anything. Kidnap. Um, rescue him. A 
Okay, I think that's most of everyone. We still have a lot of people who are just out. So that would be the biggest problem for us. Because we do also need to get everyone out of, uh, out of here. If we can. You might not be able to pick anybody up. Yeah, you can't. Okay. You kidnap. Can't do anything. Yeah, kidnap. Alright, so we'll be able to get everyone out of here very soon. I think it is about time for us to exit stage right. Oh, it's just a townsperson. Oh. What is he doing? He's shopping. Okay, who are we fighting? We're fighting no one. We are getting ourselves healed up, though. Fantastic. Where do you think you're going, buddy boy? <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere is the answer. Cool. He's got someone. He's carrying someone. We have a lot of unconscious people. And we have a lot of enemies that we need to uh, remove from here. A okay, fogman isn't bleeding out. Get up. Okay, it's about time for us to, to exit stage right. Prioritizing kidnapping uh, everybody that we can. Mercenary. Once the merc. By the way, so once the mercenaries die, they are persistent in the game. So once they're dead, they're dead. Fun little fact. Okay, that arm should be able to hold somebody. That guy is walking out of town. We came in the nights. We slaughtered them all. Destroyed them. And then we left. Can you grab him? Good. I need you to grab my fog man. Doesn't look like I'm leaving anyone behind, and the last person. Go and grab him. Cool, no fog man left behind. Let's leave. There's a new guard over here. Oh, well, he's not new. Alright, let's leave. <laughs> no fog man left behind. Alright, let's go, guys. Fantastic. How many pulls we have over here? Plenty. Let's see, what happens if we try to put one of our own people on a pull? Does it give me a special prompt? No. No, it does not. Okay, well that's that that could be problematic. Um let's put everyone down then. Because most of them are probably waking up. We can re-pick them up if we have to later. Like, this person is going to be out for a long time. But now I know that mm, I'm not carrying any allies, therefore I can just throw people on these poles and uh, 
get rid of them. Okay, cool. So I can just mouse over and then wait until it turns into the gears. The Death Yards claim so many more. Then afterwards, we'll look for something like this. <laughs> so good job. Somehow, someone still got st stuck on a pole. I don't know how, but, you know, whatever. It's not like we're being ultra thorough and making sure that none of our dudes get put on these poles. So, you know, it makes sense. We're not going and looking at each one individually. Okay, we need more poles. Oh, here's one. We're teaching these guys to pole dance. This is the last lesson they will ever learn. Plus, this works in view of like a finish off mod, if you will. There are mods that let you execute people, but I don't remember what they're called. Well, that might just be like RimWorld or something. Okay, how many do we have? One last person. Is there one last poll? I mean, there will be, because, you know, when, when we free our own people. Okay, Finn. Go uh, pick his locks. Escape. You. Put that guy in here. Fantastic. Alright, Finn. Pick that guy up and we are good to go home. Fantastic. We did it. They're all dead. It's time for some quick snack crackle pop. Man, look at that guy. <laughs> he got jacked up. He's gonna bleed to death. Alright, off we go. Alright. So generally, if I have Fen be a little bit slower. I need to stop him from moving and the uh, eh, well, I guess not because <laughs> this doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we'll just have him move at full speed. Why not? All right, Smiths, what have we done? Let's open that up. No, Smiths, you're all good. You guys, let's go on in. Go on inside, and then everything should be fine. What is he doing? Operating machine? Machine is he operating? Weird. And that is everyone, so let's close the gates. And that should be good. Alright, Legion Primus. Let's turn on our jobs. And now everyone who's jacked up, I need you all to go lay down so we can go kill more people in Mongrel. Which is great for us, because we are getting better at fighting every single time we raid them. We are going to need some more arms, that's perfectly fine. 
A left arm gets cut off a lot because it is the arm that is closest to the enemy, so it actually has a higher chance of getting hit by default. Um, where are you? Uh, that was weird. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him and all of his friends. Get them. Slaughter them. I like how there are fogmen hanging out in my base, though. You know, they're just free guards. They aren't very good at fighting, but, you know, they're free guards. They're also stuck in my base. They're not really staying here by choice. <laughs> he just he just sort of sat down and died. Okay, cool. Lay down, everyone. It would appear that Fen really just has has a phobia of resting right now. Oh well, at least he sleeps on beds properly. By the way, when characters are resting on beds, they actually uh, use less food as well. So his hunger rate is reduced even further by resting. I'm just going to assume that most of them are healed, or sufficiently healed at this point. Actually, let come and actually. What? I don't hear another one of these. <laughs> I thought we grabbed each one of these guys. Okay, let's go pick him up. <laughs> I guess this is a great way to train athletics, right? <laughs> Get over here, Ben. Oh, good. One of you grabbed him. Fantastic. See, Fogman being reliable as always. By the way, if you don't have the mod that lets you heal faster, then you would have to sit here for like 10, 20 minutes while people heal. Okay, I think we are fine. Everyone get up and do your thing. The people who don't have anything else to do, they're just like, whatever. <laughs> I'll sleep in. Cool. So we have some left and right arms, so what do we need? Okay, you've lost a right arm. It's gonna be this. Are you close enough to grab it? Yes. You've lost a left arm. Luckily, we have lots of those. <laughs> That's not really a problem. Okay. 
We've also lost an arm. No problem whatsoever. And what else we got? Okay, everybody else is kind of taken care of. That's fantastic. Now that we are getting a lot of robotics components made very quickly, uh, we are having fewer problems. These guys still have all the food on them, so we can actually just leave and go back to attacking Mongrel. Now let's turn off jobs. We're going to have Fen run over here. And all of my soldiers will follow me. No, no, Fen. Over here. Excellent. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Praetorian. <laughs> Like they, they start to look kind of weird once they get tall enough. But yeah, this is what it is. Someone is stuck, aren't they? Right, everyone, over here. Right, everyone, we're in full speed. Oh my, what did we run into? A bunch of shinobis. Good. Kill them. That is a bunch of shinobi guards. Jeez, what did like all the guards come out to fight us? That definitely simplifies things for me. Let's just quick save, just in case. If we can win this battle against this many of these guys, then we're probably fine. All we need to do is camp them so they can't get back up. It looks like we probably are not going to win this fight. Now the Praetorian is doing his thing. Now the problem with fighting katanas is that they do a lot of bleed damage. The upside of fighting katanas is that they don't exactly do a lot of damage. Okay, so. That did not work out for us, which is fine. Let's have everybody be sneaky-like. This means that when they get smacked, they will play dead more. And it doesn't look like they're doing that. So. He doesn't want to die. He wants to survive. Well, that's just too bad. <laughs> he needs to die. So every time my dudes get up during a fight like this, they actually get a lot of toughness experience. So... Yeah, we're in like 40, 50s. That means we're going to stop taking extra damage whenever we get hit by attacks. Uh, one person, I think, has a toughness of over 50. Ah, uh, good. People are staying down and instead healing themselves, which is important. Praetorian is up. That's good. People are starting to get back up. Join the fight. Yeah, the problem with the Praetorian is that he, he has a lot of hit points, but he doesn't actually um, have much in the way of... Yeah, it's probably, these guys are probably just going to camp us. Um, he doesn't have much in the way of... There are still a bunch of them. They're all sort of hurt, but like not super, super hurt. Okay, so... How's everyone doing? Okay. 
Let's see if we can enlist the aid of some uh, of some allies, if we will. Wait. So here's the big question. Was that just everybody who was on poles? No. No, it wasn't. Cool. Sounds good. It looks like we've enlisted the aid of allies, which is fantastic. Damn it. Okay. We're going to come down here and enlist these guys sooner rather than later. Because at this point, I don't actually want to be losing Fogman. They take too long to train up. When we get to where we have multiple platoons, I won't care. I don't know, the game crashed. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, we have been streaming for about two hours. So I'm going to go take a break, and then we'll probably check out some PAL world. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. Bye, everyone.